So joining me now then is Isle of Wight MP Bob Seeley. Bob, um, we've been told then that on the evening of the 22nd of May, you uh, attended a a party or a gathering or whatever you want to call it. Can you clarify the facts around this? Yes, that's not really the case. Let me give you a back up, but um, let me describe what happened. I was in Seaview undertaking some constituency work, and whilst there I agreed to visit someone who'd been critical of the Trace and Test app. When I arrived, there were a couple of other people there, uh, which I wasn't expecting. I thought about leaving, but then I thought maybe that's overreacting. So at a sensible distance, I chatted in their garden. Uh, the others left after about 15 minutes, and I taken, uh, stayed and talked with the resident for a further 20 minutes or so. Um, I then left. I didn't go inside any building, or did I have a drink? Because as far as I was concerned, it was work. Um, looking back, I apologise on balance because I called this wrong. It would have been better not to have gone in the garden, and I probably should have spoken to this person without any others nearby. Um, I have had a very small number of face-to-face conversations at social distance over recent weeks with other people, uh, council media representatives and public health representatives. When requested, I'll continue to make myself available in person when it's considered safe and responsible to do so. I'm aware that this been, has been a stressful and trying time for many people and glad the restrictions have been easing. Uh, and I've been very careful to obey those restrictions. But on this case, I probably my judgment wasn't, wasn't right. So apologies uh, that I got this one wrong. So just to clarify, the rules on that date specified then to stay at home, to protect the NHS, I think, save I think lives. the issue was, yeah, I mean, if you look, I've, I've held, uh, I've had conducted almost all my meetings with people online, but occasionally I've met people in person for briefing work and or for the app, I think, and for, uh, occasionally for constituents when they've asked, uh, and for media representatives very occasionally when they've asked, and for public health and other representatives. So almost all of them have been online. A few, probably half a dozen or less, have been in person, and I've been pretty careful about that. Uh, and I agreed to, this person had been critical of the app, and I'd agreed to go and chat with them. Um, uh, but, you know, looking back on it, if I'd been you know, wiser, which is very easy to do after the event, I probably should have done so online because I didn't know, I wasn't aware that there were going to be, uh, that he wasn't going to be by himself. So apologies for that. So uh, are you essentially admitting that you did break the rules? Well, uh, I probably, well, I think I'm going to be accused of that, and I think I'm going to. Um, I think I breached the rules, possibly by going into that person's garden when I shouldn't have done so, and I should have stayed in the street. So, apologies uh, for that, because I think that was probably an, uh, an inadvertent breach of the rules. And of course, obviously, you know, the, the, the government, everyone was kind of preaching at the time to, to stay at home, to you know, save lives and, and do all that. And, and you've yep. kind of got, you've gone against that, haven't you? What would you say to the islanders now that, that essentially you've let down? Uh, I apologise for doing so. Um, I've I've tried to obey the rules to the best of my abilities um, for ever since they've been in place. And uh, on this occasion, uh, my judgment probably failed me, so apologies for that. So you were saying, obviously, that you you didn't go in the house, you stayed in the garden and you were were social distancing. Okay, let me me be very clear. I didn't go in the house and I obeyed social distancing at all times. What I shouldn't have done was to have gone into the garden and I should have stayed on the street, so apologies for that. Yep. If it wasn't a, a party, then what was it? A barbecue? Um, I did not. I was. I was expecting to see a constituent um, and to have a conversation about the app, and I wasn't aware that there were other people there. So once I realised there were other people there, I should, probably should not have stayed, um, and I apologise for that. But I chatted at socially responsible distance about the app and the tracing scheme. Not for very long. I was there for no more than uh, between half an hour and 40 minutes and then left. Did you Did you or did you not stay there and, and have something to eat? Um, I think I probably had half a sausage or a sausage, but I didn't drink and I didn't look and I didn't treat it as a, a dinner event. Or I didn't treat it as a social event because I was there for work. And of course, you know, there's been similar backlash for, for Dominic Cummings. Are you expecting a backlash like, like he, he has received over the last few weeks after this comes out? Um, Ollie, I'm not quite sure. I'm apologising if I've got anything wrong, and it's for people to make up their own minds. A number of members of Parliament have uh, breached lockdown deliberately or inadvertently. There's a case of a few people doing it at a demonstration yesterday. So I'm just saying this for the public record, and it's up to people to decide, yeah? And are you, are you, so you're saying that it wasn't deliberate what you did? Well, I didn't go there deliberately in breach of the lockdown, but when I got there to discuss the app, I didn't realise there were going to be other people there, yeah?
And I have to ask this question as well, Bob. Obviously, there's been calls for, for, for Cummings to resign after what he did. Uh, are you expecting calls for you to resign? And will you resign? Well, I hope not. And I will continue to try to do my job to the best of my abilities. And it's been, you know, I, I will continue to try to do that. Um, and if I shouldn't have gone into this person's garden, I apologise. Isle of Wight MP Bob Seeley, thank you ever so much for talking to me today.